The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Rabbi Yer Levine, during the Second World War in Yerushalayim, there was starvation. Mamish, that the people were dying of starvation. And there was a very wealthy man who lived in Yerushalayim who loaned money to people and he was helping people out to give them money to, to buy food. And Abayah's children were starving, so he went to visit this man. He had done him many favors before. Abayah had done favors to him. And he went to see him, and he asked him, would he lend him some money in order that he should be able to feed his family? And he said, no. Abayah was very disappointed. He says, why not? Because you're giving to everybody. He says, of course. Everybody else who comes here knows that I'm rich and knows that I have the money. And if I don't give them, they're going to be angry at me. But you, I know, even if I don't give you, you're never going to hold it against me. You're never going to have a tiny against me. So I don't want to give you the money. And he went back home. He was very, very upset. He was very hurt. And he came back and he was crying. He said, because I'll never hold a grudge against the man. My children have to go hungry. And his wife came out. She saw him and she started to say to him, aye, 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 what's the matter with you? This is your Yiddishkeit. Why didn't he want to give you the money? Because he's not rich enough. You know he's rich enough. Is it because he's stingy? You know he's not stingy. He's given to everybody else. Is it because he doesn't trust you? But last week you went barefoot, your shoes were torn, and you had found a gold coin that belonged to him, and you went in the cold to return it to him. He knows you're an honest man. So it's not because he's not rich, it's not because he's stingy, and it's not because he doesn't trust you. The only reason he doesn't want you to get it from him, your help is meant to come from somewhere else. What are you crying about? This is a Muna. When a person realizes that everything that happens to him, the shoyrish, the sibah, the cause, is from the Rabbeinu Shaloylam. And the Yid has this source of energy, this source of power. A little over a year ago, my mother, Leah Sholem, was diagnosed with a terrible, terrible machla. A vibrant 65-year-old woman, full of life, full of simcha. They operated on her to remove a brain tumor. And during the operation, they came to tell us the severity of the growth, that it's you know, a level, the worst that there could be. The worst, mamish the worst. A few days after the operation, I spent Shabbos in the hospital. And there was Ephesus, a doctor, a chocham, who felt it was important, it was incumbent upon him to come into her and tell her exactly what she had what the prognosis was. There are, you know. And he said it to her in a very vicious way. And she was shocked. We hadn't told her yet what the matzav was. I sat with her and we ate shalashudas in a room in, in that hospital, a memorial hospital. And the light was shining in through the window. And I began to sing with her and sang, Mizma l'dovad Hashem roi loyechs. Amei menuchis yinaleini. I came to the words, Gam ki eilech begeit salmovis. Lo yira ro ki ato imo. And her face began to shine and to glow with such an inner simcha, with such a betoch, and she held my hand, sing it again, sing it again. Gam ki eilech begeit salmovis. Lo yira ro. I don't fear ro ki ato imodi. Matzah Shabbos. In that ward, the hospital sends psychiatrists around to the patients to help them deal with what they were told. And there was a woman psychiatrist. She came out after she spoke to my mother. She said, you know, I feel honored to have met such a person. And I said, well, what did you tell her? What did you tell her? I explained to her that we have different resources. I told her, Gam ki eilech begeitz wherever I am, the Rabbeinu Shalolam is with me. Different. I'm different to the other people who you're visiting. I've got a treasure. I've got an oitzer. I have the Rabbeinu Shalom with me now more than I ever had. And Rabbi Yisai, I want to tell you, if it's of the Shechina, it was at that Shalosh I felt the Shechina in the room. I felt the Kiyata Yimavi. I saw it. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to Inspire.org.